In today's video, I'm going to be organizing my entire fidget, slime, and squishmallow collection with you guys. And as you can see, I am sitting in front of these collections as we speak. We have quite a lot to organize, and to be totally honest with you guys, I don't necessarily have a set game plan in mind for how exactly I want to reorganize things, but I thought it'd be fun to do it with you guys, and I'll just figure it out along the way. One of my main goals in today's video is to just create more space in a lot of these drawers, because with a lot of them, it's hard to open up the drawers without them getting stuck or overflowing, and it's just a hot mess express. I did go ahead and I bought an extra drawer organizer, so we're going to be taking care of that problem problem and honestly I find organization videos to just be so incredibly satisfying so that is my main goal of today's video to entertain you guys and also satisfy you but before we get started I have a challenge for all of you watching I want to see if you guys can like click subscribe and turn on post notifications in just five seconds I hope you guys are ready because here goes the countdown five four three two one time's up if you guys were successfully able to complete the five second challenge, then I want you to comment down below. Hmm. Do you have any collections? And if so, what do you collect? Or if not, what would you like to collect? If you had to collect something, what would you like to collect? I've always had different collections ever since I was a little kid. It's just always been a hobby of mine. And clearly some things just never change. And I still love collecting things to this day. And oh, P.S. I wanted to let you guys know that in my previous video, I did a huge declutter with all of my different collections that I'm organizing today. I got rid of so many things. Literally, I think I got rid of over 200 items, which was a big deal to me. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you pause this video and go watch that one first. I'll have that video linked in the description box below for you guys. But anyways, without further ado, we are going to get straight into this video and begin organizing my fidget slime and squishmallow collection. And I hope that you'll enjoy watching. So let's get started. I did want to show you guys an overview of my collection as it is. Yeah, it's pretty crazy and slightly overwhelming because I really don't know where to start first. Um, but I do want to have a game plan before we just dive into this. So, okay, as I had mentioned in the intro, I did buy an additional drawer organizer, and this is a wider one. I have tons of these smaller ones, but these just hold a lot more, and so I was thinking is I'd like to have two of these larger drawer organizers sitting together with all of my poppets, because these drawers tend to get very crowded very fast, and as you can see right now, I have one, two, three, four four drawers of poppets. This one is very crowded as you can see and it has all my 3D poppets and then honestly all the rest of these are not really organized in any particular way. Um, they used to be categorized but as time went on things just got kind of messy so I'd like to tackle this mess and also if we have extra space I would like to also put my dimples in those six larger drawers as well. So we're going to move a couple things around and then also I'd really like to organize these drawers um as you can see everything is kind of all over the place we have quite a few different types of fidgets in here like spike balls snappers marble mesh flippy chains and even more so I'd like to organize that overall these drawers of stress balls are very neatly organized and I don't feel like I need to really touch those this drawer is pretty messy. These pop tubes can definitely be organized as well as all of these slimes. And then as far as my squishmallows are concerned, well, I'm definitely gonna have to take them off of these drawer organizers because I'm gonna be moving a lot around and they're just gonna fall anyways. So I'm gonna move them and then we will organize them nice and neatly at the end. <laughs> Okay, so now I just have a giant pile of squishmallows over here, but don't worry, we will be getting back to this at the end of the video, but we need there to be nothing at the tops of these drawers just to make this process a lot easier so we can move things more freely and not have to worry about the squishmallows falling everywhere. We have to move these two drawers out of the way and put this drawer next to that one, okay? That is the first step of this process. These little drawers are so much heavier than you think. That one wasn't so bad, but this one is 
really heavy. So we're gonna put these two together. Here we go. And then just move these to the side. Oh my gosh. Oh, that one was heavy. Here we go. So that was just a very small part of what we're going to be doing, but whew, okay. So what I'm gonna do now is I am just going to dump all of these poppage drawers out, okay? And by doing this, I won't need to rummage through everything and it'll just be out in the open. Yes, it's going to look like a big, crazy rainbow explosion for a little while, but in the end, it'll be a lot easier to organize. So, okay, there we go. We're also going to remove this drawer right here. I'm not going to be dumping it. I'm basically just going to be moving the dimples from this drawer organizer, it's one of those. You'll see guys, this will start making a lot more sense, but I think we should just get started now. Next question is, how are we going to organize these poppets? So we have six different drawers and I'm thinking what we should do is maybe put the larger ones in one drawer, the medium sized ones in another, and then the smallest ones in the top drawer. Oops, I almost forgot about this drawer. These are my 3D poppets. They are so stinking awesome. So I think that these should definitely have their own separate drawer. As you can see, this one was very, very crowded and I'm always adding more of these to my collection. Okay, so my game plan for right now is large poppets, medium poppets, small poppets, 3D poppets, and then my dimples. So that's the game plan for now, and let's just get started with this. Okay, I have a very, very, very strong temptation to do this. Ready? Woo! First things first, I wanna put all of my largest poppets in this bottom drawer right here. And my largest poppets by far are this mermaid one and this unicorn one. Before filming this video, they were literally hibernating in my closet because I didn't have enough room for them. I'm not sure if I will be able to fit any more poppets in these two drawers other than just the unicorn and the mermaid, but we will see. Uh, so far we have the mermaid in there and it's taking up like 50% of the space. So, uh, wow. Okay, literally you guys, it doesn't matter how you fold them, they are just larger than life. So I am just going to keep those two poppets in that bottom drawer right there. And so now I'll be focusing on the second largest. Those will go in the drawer above it. I'd say this poppet is a pretty large one. So is this one and this butterfly that I believe glows in the dark. It's just gorgeous. Ooh, I forgot I had this one. It's a tie-dye Mickey Mouse head. And then also this spider web one. So we will put those two in there. Ooh, another Mickey Mouse one. He is a rainbow. That's definitely a larger one. Same with this rainbow parrot. <gasps> ah, this little bunny, he's so cute. He literally has floppy ears. He reminds me of my bunny Chester. Um, so we're gonna put him in there. Then we have this poppet game. And there is dice somewhere but this will go in the second drawer as well. We will be putting this Mickey Mouse one in there. But other than that, I think those are all of my like larger poppets. Okay, so two drawers down and four to go. Now we're going to be filling up this top drawer with medium sized poppets. So these are pretty much like the average size poppets that we're going to be putting in here. Um, and this is probably my favorite size. First, we're gonna put in this bunny. We've got this little pastel crab, a dog, a circle, a little fish. Yeah, the majority of my poppets are this size. So hopefully these will be able to fit in this one drawer. We will see. We are running in 
into a problem. Okay, so I don't think this plan is going to work out because as you can see, we still have so many other medium-sized poppets to put away and they are just not going to fit. So I'm going to have to think of something else. I think what's gonna have to happen is I'm going to need to have two drawers for these medium-sized poppets. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, so update, I was able to make this work out. I just have two drawers filled with medium-sized poppets and that bottom drawer just has the two largest ones. So now we are left with these smaller size poppets. And yes, there are a few medium-sized ones in here as well, but it really doesn't matter. As long as they can all fit into a drawer, it will be a-okay. So these ones will be going in here. And oh, wait, I just found the star that goes to this 3D christmas tree pop it so we'll just put that right in there um but all right let's see i want to know which one of these poppets is your favorite as i go through them okay so we have a purple sparkly unicorn a red crab that's giving me major summer vibes in fact i remember getting this one at learning express with callie right when fidget toys started to become super trendy we got a popsicle a pink perfume bottle a stocking a Santa hat, a pink cactus, a glow-in-the-dark dinosaur. Ooh, this one's really cool. It's a color-changing butterfly. Yes, we have so many fun ones. I have never been able to figure out what this is. A subscriber sent it to me, and I feel like it's an eyeball or a surfboard. I really don't know, but what does this look like to you guys? Because to me, it looks like an eyeball. Oh, and also... I used to think that this was a radish, but apparently it's a dragon fruit. So I can tell by the speckles on the inside now because that is what dragon fruit looks like. <laughs> And I'm feeling really good about this. Now we have these two drawers left. And in one of them, I am going to be putting these 3D poppets in there. So that'll be this middle one. And then also I am basically just going to be putting all of these dimple style poppets in this top drawer. That way all of my popping fidgets can be together. This next part's gonna be very, very simple. Cause look, okay, we're gonna open this up. You ready for it? Ready for it? And we are just going to dump these Woo! easy peasy lemon squeezy perfect oh my gosh that is so much better i have so much more space in here now for newbies and then if i'm trying to find something that i'm looking for when i'm doing a tiktok or whatever the case may be i have much easier access so that is amazing and now we just have to put the dimples in here and honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I can actually just take out this drawer and put this one inside because it's the same exact size. So one second. And voila, there we go. You guys, I'm so excited. Okay, so far, so good. Now we have two empty drawers. So we've got this larger one that I'm gonna put back up there. And then we also have this drawer okay and this used to have my 3d poppets as you know there we go oh wait poor little giraffe oh <laughs> he was all left out all right we're gonna just put him in there okay so now i'm gonna come over here and we're just gonna go down the line and kind of decide for ourselves what needs to go where okay so i definitely don't want to change up the way that i have these orby filled fidgets I think that they are perfect in this drawer and they're already organized. So we're gonna leave that alone. Uh, these are my DNA ball style fidgets. We can leave those be as well. Same with the mesh balls. These are okay. Same with the PBJs and shaggy fidgets. Now this drawer of pop tubes can definitely use some organizing. So we're gonna come over here by the lights. Okay, that way you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, but I'm just going to group these better. So I think the easiest approach would just be to dump these out and kind of go from there. may 
just be my favorite pop tube because not only is it Halloween themed, but it also lights up. Now, how cool is this? All right, so as you can see, we've successfully organized the large ones, the medium-sized ones, and now we're gonna put the minis over here on the side. So that should not take much time at all. Honestly, I don't know why I've been putting this off for so long. Um, I mean, it is a little time-consuming, but once you get the process going, it's actually very satisfying and not so bad at all. All right, so there we have it. And then lastly, we have four of these micro pop tubes, which are gonna go right there. Voila! So now we have our pop tube drawer, nice and organized. Now this bottom drawer down here consists of lots of very small fidget toys. And I think this definitely could use a little bit of reorganization. So let's bring it on over here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna dump it on out. We're basically going to be dividing this organizer into like sections of five. And we're gonna be putting all of these away nice and neatly, starting with these spike balls. Yeah, they're gonna get this little corner over here. <laughs> spike balls all right now we are going to be putting the snappers over in the corner right here i don't have too many of these um i think i have less than 10 i don't know let's count them out because i'm kind of curious now okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Okay, so we have 13 snappers. I didn't think we had too many of those. Next category we're going to do is marble mesh or marble and mesh, whatever you wanna call it, all right? So let's just put these over here in the lower left-hand corner. <laughs> to really stay in one place they keep expanding but that's way more organized than it was before i think we have like two more left oh and another little snapper it's a patriotic pineapple okay so now we have 14 of those also here's a few more spike balls that i had missed previously it's very easy to do oh and another one so now we have a little corner left for these acupressure rings and these pea poppers and the bike chains. But first we're going to gather all of these pea poppers. And since these are the heaviest out of the rest of these fidgets, we are going to use them as like a little divider. So we'll put them in the middle right there. And now we'll collect the bike chains, which are probably one of my least favorite fidgets. I cannot tell you the last time I went over to my collection just to fidget with these specifically. Like it just, it hasn't happened. This is called a bike chain. These are called flippy chains. Mrs. Bench taught me that. And now the rest of these can just be grouped together and they can go in this corner right here. And there we go. I think this drawer looks so much better. And I think it's just so cute because it contains all of my itty bitty fidgets, not including mochis. They have their own drawer right over there because there is a lot of them. Okay, guys, so I want to try something here. As you can see, I have five different drawers for slimes and putties. And honestly, I'd really love it if I could kind of keep them together more. So what I'm thinking is, what if I tried to organize this random fidget drawer a bit better and I could section this drawer off into two separate ones instead of just one? Um, and I don't think that'd be hard to do because I could have a drawer of bubble blowing fidgets and pop-up fidgets. Yeah, that's a very common theme with these. So yeah, I'm going to just dump these out. Ugh, ready? Three, two, one. And I'm also going to dump these large fidgets out. So in this bottom drawer, I have all of these slimes by Nicole Jacqueline. So I'm just going to start taking these out one by one and I'm going to try to stack them and organize them as neatly as possible. 
And then something else that really bothered me about my previous organization is that I had different brands mixed together. And I'm going to try my best to just organize them a bit better by brands. There are so many! All right, and then this is unopened. And honestly, I may just put this on display somewhere else instead of keeping it in my collection drawers. Um, yeah, it'll save a lot of space and it's not open anyway. So, okay, we're gonna close that up. And do you guys think that I will be able to fit all of these Nicole Jacqueline slimes into this drawer? Let me know in the comments. I have a feeling it's gonna be a really, really, really tight squeeze, but I think we can do it. I hope we can do it. Let's see, okay? We won't know until we try. Oh my gosh, I just need to take a moment to say, how satisfying is this? I'm definitely gonna have to send her a picture of what I'm doing here because Nicole and I are friends in real life and I think she would love to see this process because, I mean, who wouldn't? It's so satisfying. <laughs> And in fact, we may even have room for her target slime to go in here as well. Maybe, hang on, hang on, give me a second. I think I can make this work. Two seconds later. We made it work. I am so satisfied right now. All right, so we're gonna close that drawer up and now, okay. My next mission is to put the rest of my slimes into this drawer and that way we won't have to have just three random drawers of different putties and slimes and yeah, it would just make so much more sense. So I also have a ton of dope slimes. You can find these at, I think all Learning Express stores. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure they sell them at almost all locations. I've got so many of these, you guys, but I definitely have the most Nicole Jacqueline slimes. PB&J Swirl, oh, how I love this one. Oh, fun fact, Circus Animal Frosting was actually my very first dope slime. Oh, wait, here's another Nicole Jacqueline slime. Uh-oh, just when I thought I had them all in there. This one should fit, I hope. All right, there we go. No problemo. I'm just going to remove this drawer to make it easier. Okay, so those are all of the dope slimes. And now, okay, the rest of these are like store-bought slimes or putties. So I may keep a separate drawer for putties. I'm not sure yet. Um, I just want to get all my slimes taken care of first. So on top of the dope slimes, we're going to put some of these other slimes that I have because we still have a ton of room in this drawer. I have some skinnier slimes that we can kind of slide over here in this little section. <laughs> All right, guys, do you think we'll be able to fit the rest in here? Oh, I am not sure. I think the thing that is going to be the issue is these larger containers of slime. It will not fit. Oh, man, we were so close to making this work. I mean, honestly, I'm not opposed to having three large drawers for my slimes and putties. I think that actually sounds like a great idea. Um, I think it looks a lot better than them being randomly spread out into five drawers. So I'm going to snap my fingers and before you know it, all the slimes and putties will be nice and organized in these drawers. Okay, so here is the final results. In the bottom drawer, I have just Nicole Jacklin slimes since I have the most of these. And I wanted to put whatever slimes I had the most of in the bottom drawer, uh, just because it's the heaviest and it makes the most sense. So there we go. Then in this middle drawer, I have lots of different homemade slimes from other companies. So I have Fair and Mal, they're on TikTok and YouTube. I have slimes from the Kawaii Slime Company and many, many others. I love slime so much, so if 
If you have a slime company and you want to send me slime, I will absolutely unbox it on TikTok or YouTube. Just saying, I really love slime. And then in this top drawer, I decided to put all of my putties and store-bought slimes. So I have quite a few. Um, I really want to expand upon my Crazy Errands collection. Yeah, so store-bought, homemade, and Nicole Jacqueline. But now, as you can see, we have six drawers that are completely empty and spilled out over here. I have all these random fidgets that I think I could definitely start to categorize a little bit better so that I can, you know, make this work. And then I have my larger fidgets over here. And I don't know if these are all going to fit into one drawer. I think I may need to divide them up into two. Let's just start with one and see what happens. Yeah, I'll put all of the round ones in first. Hmm, all right, let's see if we can fit more than this. We'll do the brain. I just put the brain at the bottom and this one on top. Let's see if we can easily open it. Okay, yeah, that works. Uh, ooh, okay, I really wanna make this work, you guys. Like, I really wanna make this work. So now I'm going to try to squish this blue one in here. Okay, I mean, that works. We are going to just have two drawers for the larger fidgets. Here we go. Okay, it works. Perfecto. And now we have all of these random fidgets and we have four drawers. So in this top drawer, I think I'm going to try to find all of my different pop-up fidget toys and I'm going to put them inside of here along with my bubble blowing fidgets. Okay. I don't have enough of either one of these categories to have their own separate drawers, but I think they can share a drawer and it would be very, very satisfying. Hug in a mug, gotta love it. I think bubble blowing fidgets are one of my very favorites. They're just so unique. And I remember when I got one for the first time, I was ecstatic. I got my first bubble blowing fidget from Mrs. Bench and I've been obsessed ever since. Look at this bubble blowing sloth. Ah! Honestly, I think after I'm done filming this video, I'm going to go onto Amazon and just order myself all of the different bubble blowing fidget toys that I can find. Life is short, and if some bubble blowing fidgets are going to make my heart happy, then you better believe I'm gonna go get more. All right, there we go. That drawer is complete. And I'm honestly so happy with the way this looks. I'm just obsessed with the pop-up fidgets as well as the bubble blowing ones. So they definitely deserved their own little drawer. So now we have three left and I'm trying to think of another way that I can divide these random fidgets up. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to make a drawer full of these ball fidgets and I'm going to put these here at the bottom. So we have this blue sparkly gel one, okay? This one is technically supposed to be a pool toy. I got it at the Dollar Tree, but it has a really cool, unique texture. So it's now in my collection. Um, this is a dough ball. Listen to this, you guys. Oh, it reminds me of a blue raspberry icy. This is so neat. It's a two-in-one fidget stress ball. So this side is shimmery and easy to squeeze. And then on the left side, we have a stress ball that has these crunchy light blue balls inside. It's really fun because you get to decide which side you're more in the mood to squish. <laughs> Okay, so this fidget is actually in the wrong drawer. This is a water-based fidget, and so it should be over here in my drawer full of water-based fidgets. Woo, this is so satisfying. Any other round ball style fidget toys? Let me see. Hmm, I don't think so. The rest of them have fun shapes, so think we are good now with this drawer. Okay, wait, I think I should put this little fidget pen over here with the spike ball fidgets. I think it better suits that drawer. Oh no, this orange is broken. Did you see that? Ah! Oh boy, <laughs> what a mess. Okay, so I have an idea. I think what I'm going to try to do is put all of my animal random fidgets in one drawer 
And then the food ones in the other, because I feel like most of these are either an animal or a food. And then the others I will put down here in the bottom drawer with the ball fidgets. So that would mean these. Um, I have some fruit roll-ups. Oh wait, those would go in food. Swedish fish is a food. Macaroon is a food. There's a dumpling in here. So that is obviously considered a food. Stretchy cucumber, rainbow mac and cheese. It's gonna go in the food category. Sushi, food, one of my favorite foods. Ooh, how about this one? So it's technically supposed to be an egg. All the other Frisbee fidgets are down here, but I'm gonna count this one as a food. Animal, animal, animal. Little dinosaur. <laughs> is technically a food and an animal because it's a bear which is an animal but also I think it's supposed to be a gummy bear so which drawer would you put this in would you put it in the food drawer or the animal drawer I think I'm gonna put it in the animal drawer macaroon sushi bacon boy this is making me hungry carrot dumpling another dumpling another dumpling macaroon egg all of these sticky alligators are going to go with the animals Hmm, okay, the alien's gonna have to go in with the animals as well. Ooh, again, this is hard. It's cheese, but there's mice. So is it animal or a food? I'm gonna put it in the food bin. Look at all these fruit roll-ups. Into the food bin they go. Look at this, you guys. We only have a few fidget toys left. So this is a food, okay? And then the rest of these are animals. Oh my gosh, you guys, we did it! So we're gonna do one final look at all of the different drawer organizers just to make sure everything looks good. And so far, I am loving what I'm seeing, but there was just one drawer that I wanted to organize a bit better, and that is my noodle drawer. So I've got lots of different noodle fidget variations in here. I know that sounds kind of funny, um, but we have ramen noodles, as you can see. We have the animal noodles. So right here we have a llama and a unicorn. We have these little caterpillars as well as monkey noodles and much, much more. So, okay guys, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to dump out this entire bin and in one swift transition, I'm going to have all of these organized nice and neatly into this drawer right here, and you won't believe your eyes, okay? It's gonna look amazing. Ready? Three, two, one. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, it looks so good! So I have the ramen noodles over in the upper left-hand corner. I have the monkey noodles of all different shapes and sizes and colors over here in the upper right-hand corner. And then down by the bottom section of the drawer, I have all my different animal-themed noodles and I love the texture of these. They're so much fun. And then in the very bottom corner, we have these centipede ones because they are not my favorite and I'm kind of trying to hide them if you couldn't tell. We're going to put this back. So now I feel totally satisfied and I'm so proud of how much progress we made. But wait, you guys, I almost forgot. We have to put my Squishmallows on top of my fidget drawer organizers. Whew! I've actually been filming this video for over two hours now. It's definitely not as long for you guys because I definitely cut out some clips and sped up some clips, but whew! okay, so I am going to put you guys up here in my little studio light tripod and I'm going to begin putting the squishmallows up here, starting with the largest ones. And the very largest one that I have, whoo, he's a big one. This is him, everybody. He's a good boy. And then my second largest ones, you ready? We have this little stingray. And we have the peacock. And basically, I'm just going to continue finding the largest squishmallows that I have and putting them down first because we're going to end up stacking them. So it's going to go largest first and then the medium sized ones and then the itty bitty ones. Fun fact, my favorite squishmallow of all times is this little seagull with french fries. Ah! <laughs> I have about
about 20 small Squishmallows left, and I'm gonna see if I can finish putting them up here in 10 seconds. Ready, set, go! <laughs> I have six more left on the floor. Look how tiny! He has happiness written on his stomach, and he's so cute. We're gonna put him there. We're gonna put the reindeer here, the octopus here, the dinosaur there. This little good vibes only rainbow can go right here in the middle because she shines and she sparkles and she's fabulous. And then this is the very last one. It's a little owl, and we're gonna put it right on top of the lemonade and the acorn. <sighs> wow, this video was intense. Yes, it's probably very satisfying to watch, but I feel like I'm about to fall over. So I'm gonna stop filming now. I'm gonna go get some water and order myself some sushi and just chillax because we did it. Woo, I'm so happy. And here is the final overview of the work that we have done today. I'm honestly so proud. Make sure you guys stay tuned for tomorrow's video because I am going to be showing my entire fidget slime and squishmallow collection to you guys. And I'll be going more into detail with which ones I have. And that video might even be more satisfying than this one. So make sure you are subscribed with post notifications turned on. That way, you know when the video goes up. But I love you guys to the minute back. Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Mwah.